Hello viewers, welcome to my channel Chem Corona. In this video, we are going to discuss SAR of sulfonamides. So, let us see the structure of sulfonamides. The structure of sulfonamide can be divided into four parts. First, it's para amino group. Second, we have sulfonamide group. Third, we have aromatic ring. And the fourth, we have N1 substitution. We can number the sulfonamide moiety in this fashion. That is, the numbering starts from the carbon which is adjacent to the sulfonamido group. It gets number 1 position, then 2, 3, 4, 5 and 6. Whereas, the nitrogen atom which is immediately attached to the sulfur gets N1 position and the nitrogen atom which is present at the para position of the benzene ring is called as N4. Let us discuss the SAR of sulfonamide. The first point is the para amino group. The para amino group is essential for the activity and it must be unsubstituted except in case of mephenide. The free aromatic amino group should reside at para position to the sulfonamide group. If it is replaced at ortho or meta position, it results in compounds which are devoid of antibacterial activity. The N4 amino group could be modified to prodrugs. For example, benzoyl prodrug, it can be converted to benzoic acid and sulfonamido group in the in vivo. The second point is about the sulfonamide group. The sulfonamide group is essential for the antibacterial activity. The sulfur atom should be directly linked to the aromatic ring. Substitution of free sulfonic acid group by sulfonamido function destroys the activity. Replacement by sulfonic acid and its acetylation at N4 position retains back the activity. Exchange of SO2NH by CONH group reduces the activity. The third point in the SAR of sulfonamide is about the aromatic ring. The aromatic ring is essential for antibacterial activity. Replacement of this benzene ring by other ring system decreases or abolishes its activity. If we introduce additional substituents on benzene ring, it produces inactive compounds. The fourth point is about the N1 substitution. N1 is acidic and it must have one free hydrogen attached to it. Increasing acidity increases the enzyme affinity. If acidity is increased, the water solubility is also increased, which reduces the risk of crystal urea formation. N1 substituent should be electron withdrawing. The more the electron withdrawing, the lower the pK. For example, in case of sulfisoxazole, the pK is around 4.9. Heterocyclic substituents on N1 leads to potent derivatives, whereas sulfonamides which contain single benzene ring at N1 positions, they are toxic. So thank you for patient listening and happy learning. Like, share and subscribe my channel, Chem Corona.